So, Claude, are you sure you don't mind me bringing my two moms to your Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll be okay. so nice to have some okay. parental figures there. You know, especially since my parents went to the Bahamas. I don't know, some nonsense about them not having a vacation in 12 years. <laughs> I don't like going home. Thanksgiving is one of those holidays when my brothers always end up putting me in a headlock. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing. My, my moms don't know about my little secret. come out to them yet. Uh, you haven't come out to us either, honey. Yeah, we would have remembered that. Oh, no, 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 I don't have to come out to you guys. You know I'm straight. So, you're talking about coming out in reverse. Your gay moms don't know you're straight. It would crush them. <laughs> I mean, I've already let them down by not being a lesbian. Well, I haven't seen a movie of the week about this, but I'm going to figure out a way to help you. Oh, no, no. I, I'm going to deal with it in my own way and my own time. That's what you said about your messy file cabinet. How dare you bring up my file cabinet? Oh, so she can get on you about a deeply personal issue, but I can't talk about a file. Don't you say it, woman. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning, Jeb. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Perhaps you'd care to accompany me to Will Butler's Thanksgiving soiree. That sounds lovely. It should be nice. He has a lot of money. <laughs> It's unclear to me if you've accepted. I will go. No. I thought you were leaning that way. Hey, girl. Well, happy Thanksgiving, first guest. Mmm. <laughs> Something smells good already. Oh, uh, I think that's just the old crud baking off the oven. <laughs> emotional day for Owen, huh? I know. He always gets overstimulated at parties. No, no. I mean, telling his two moms he's straight. I'm hoping that if I create a comfortable, warm, open environment that he'll finally tell them the truth. You always do this. Let the man be. He's older than both of us. He's older than one of us. It would just be nice if my first Thanksgiving was remembered not only for the delicious food and warm company, but for the bridge that it forged between the gay and the straight communities. That's a lot of pressure to put on a turkey. Is that stuffing? Yes, it's my dad's sweet figgy stuffing. Sweet figgy stuffing? Sounds like a blues singer. What are you doing there? You don't mind if I make my cornbread dressing, do you? Dressing? Why, no, of course not. <laughs> no, like the pilgrims welcome the Native Americans offering of corn, I welcome your dressing. <laughs> well, my people didn't have a say at that party, so good. <laughs> so nice of you to pick up my mom's. Ooh, my pleasure, bud. This car is a real sweet ride. <laughs> and the old rib is like 4,000 pounds of catnip for the ladies. <laughs> Can I give me a little mirror action there, Mr. Kronsky? <laughs> Excellent. A little lower? <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, you're really gonna like my mom's. You know, I gotta admit, I never had a friend raised by two women. Was it weird for you? Oh, well, it's really not that different than a traditional family upbringing. You had to wear a poncho on Thursdays, right? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, Judith and Judy have been wonderful parents who've always been there for me and for each other. Well, that, my friend, is why you are so well-adjusted. I am not going to disagree. <laughs> 
And it wasn't until I was halfway through singing Wasted Away Again in Margaritaville that it was brought to my attention the conversation was about Warren Buffett. <laughs> He's so funny, I'm his date. Cheers. Cheers. You look very handsome. You look very beautiful. You have so much to be thankful for. <laughs> Lydia, what are you doing here? I'm with Jeb. What are you doing here? Will invited me. I didn't tell you because I wanted to brag about it at work on Monday. <laughs> I was gonna call you when I got home. Nicely played. Aren't you going to introduce me? Okay, here we go. Um, we've met many, many times. I don't think so. You see me on TV. It happens all the time, buddy. Kev! We couldn't start the party without you. Will! You are too kind! No, seriously, I need you behind the bar. My regular guy got sick. Get an apron from Cook. Oh, my God, Kip. I, I don't know what to say. Except this glass isn't gonna fill itself. Carl. My moms are coming. They had to stop for a second to counsel that runaway teen. Mom! Sh should, I, should I help them with their bags? Oh, no, 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 no. A man handling a woman's luggage is another form of paternalistic oppression. Because I don't mind. Well, hello there. What a remarkable trip we've had. Oh, and honey, on the plane, a cat got out of his carrier, and your mom here had to sedate him. Normally, I leave my vet bag in Santa Fe, but darn if it didn't come in handy. I don't believe we've met. Uh, Carl Minari. Yeah. Uh, you're Italian, and I bet you're a Leo? August 4th. Fire sign. Owen's a Gemini. Why didn't you tell us about this big, handsome lion? We, uh, we really haven't known each other that long, Mom. Yeah, but we're together 24-7. I tell you, the minute I met this little guy, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> yep, that's my Carl. <laughs> well, ladies, follow me. Oh, we'll follow you anywhere with that voice. Doesn't he have a radio voice, Judith? He does indeed. <laughs> Hold on to your pilgrim hat buckles. Look who's here. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, oh hey! Nice to finally meet you. you. Ramona, Claude, this is my mom, Judy, and my mom, Judith. Confuse our names more than once and we're done with you. <laughs> Kidding. Oh. <laughs> I made something for you, Claude. It's a moon dish. You put it on your windowsill when there's a crescent moon, and in the morning, you'll find a cup of joy. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what a funny thing to give in all seriousness. Judy, Judith, let me take your coats. Oh, oh sure. Here. Thanks. Great. Mm. What a gentleman. Such a catch. <laughs> uh, can I get you some sangria? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we knew this would happen. Owen is the sweetest, dearest boy in the world, and he deserves the best. Um, Owen and Carl? Hey, I think the game's oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they think Carl is your partner? They don't. They just think he's my lover. <laughs> really? And Carl went along with that? Well, yeah, he's my best friend. He'd do anything for me. He doesn't know. <laughs> My two moms just jumped to that conclusion, so I'm going with it, okay? Oh, look, Ramona put fresh fruit in the sangria. I might need something stronger. The Packers are losing. <laughs> Judith, you be careful. Don't start setting limits. <laughs> okay, now it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Poor Kip. Look, you shouldn't be talking to me. I'm the help. I know but it's like you've been put on an ice floe and pushed out into the Arctic. I'm cold, Lydia. 
so cold. <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty powerful tonight. Let me make things better. Jeb, why don't you tell Kip your funny Warren Buffett story? Well, you just blew the ending. <laughs> Kip here said that he ran into Martin Scorsese in the hallway. That must be quite a leg up for an aspiring young actor such as yourself. <laughs> I mean, all bartenders are actors in this town, right? Except me. I work at GNB on the 22nd floor with you. <laughs> That's odd. I don't remember a bar being on the 22nd floor. Did I hear you taking up acting now, kid? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. Have you guys had one of Kip's martinis yet? They're fabulous. Oh. Set us up. Well, I hope you gentlemen brought an extra pair of socks because you are about to have yours knocked off. <laughs> now, as odd as it may seem, Ramona and I have prepared two different stuffings, or a stuffing and a dressing, as it were. Now, I know that a dressing is something one normally puts on a salad or around an open wound. <laughs> but we're not going to tell you who made which, so let's just eat. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, cool. Good. Oh, delicious. Delicious. It's so nice to be here with all of you. Thanksgiving at our ranch is usually just Judith, Owen, four cats, two dogs, and the llama. <laughs> wow. Always wanted a llama. His name's Hector. He's kind of stuck up. <laughs> so, Carl. Have you and Owen ever considered moving in together? I hadn't thought of it. I suppose it would save some money. Well. Mm, this cornbread dressing is out of this world. That's mine. One for me. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not a contest, Ramona. Why don't you try some of my figgy stuffing? It's a Casey recipe. Here you go. Try it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that is different. <laughs> a sweet stuffing. <laughs> one to one. I smooshed mine together with some of the cornbread to help cut the figgy sweetness. It oh, really helps. Well, it's more savory. It's not sweet. Sure, exactly. Oh, Ramona, what spices did you use? It's glorious. Oh, I wish I could tell you, but it's a family secret. <laughs> hey, family secrets, don't you, Owen? I, I, uh, I don't feel strongly one way or the other on that one. Pass the green beans, please. Mm. Oh. Carl, why aren't you spending Thanksgiving at your parents? Well, I'm gonna go eat with them later. <laughs> Maybe you want to tag along? Do they know we're gay? It hasn't come up. But... Owen? Yeah? Could you pass the honesty, please? <laughs> Sure. Oh, I, uh, I, I think it's in the kitchen. Um, Carl, could you give me a hand real quick in the kitchen? No, I just made my gravy lake. Carl! <laughs> Please, I just need to speak with you real quick in the kitchen. So cute. <sighs> okay, you're, uh, you're gonna laugh when you hear this, but... My moms think I'm gay. <laughs> and they think that you're gay. And, and, and they think that we're being gay together. <laughs> but we're not, right? <laughs> Since Claude has created such a warm, comfortable, open environment? Yes. <laughs> We'd like to share some news. Judith feels it's time to retire and downsize. And now that our boy has found, well, that special someone, well, <laughs> Owen and Carl, well, when you're tired of living the fast life here in New York, we'd like you to have the ranch. <laughs> Get in the ranch! 
lunch. <laughs> oh, this is the best Thanksgiving ever. <laughs> family hug. Big gay family hug. Come here. Come here. Do you really feel like you deserve this big gay family hug? No, 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 I don't. Um, uh, mom, m mom, I, I, I have something to tell you, and it's, it's not easy, and, and I'm embarrassed, but I do not like Claude's stuffing. None of us do. Get back in here. <laughs> Owen. <laughs> Owen. All right, all right. I, I'm sorry. I, I do. I have something else I have to confess. <laughs> Mom, Mom. I'm straight. What? <laughs>. It's a guy thing. This is what Thanksgiving is all about. A bunch of guys and the perfect martini. To Kip. To Kip. To Kip. To Kip. Fantastic. <laughs> Can I touch you for a minute? <laughs> what are you doing? I threw you a life raft and this is how you repay me? I need the focus back on me. <laughs> Sorry, but the men have bonded <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I guess you win. There's nothing I can do about it. Jeb, do you want to leave and have sex? Good luck with the acting. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Rinch water's getting a little cloudy. <laughs> Happy holidays. worried about this you with the football the baseball and the sports no one should go through life throwing like a straight girl and while we're pointing fingers you're the one who dressed him like a boy he hated that poncho oh. <clears throat> judy judy look look you can't blame each other for owen being straight you know it's nobody's fault and if you're going to blame someone for owen being attracted to women blame me he sits across from me all day long and he can't help but be affected by my overpowering sexuality I'm affected by it. Judy. What? She's a very attractive woman. I'm not dead. <laughs> but the life, Owen. The straight life is so hard. I am so scared for you, baby. I can do it. I've been doing it. Just, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I kept it a secret, okay? I just thought that if I rejected your lifestyle, it would break your hearts. No, no, it, it breaks our hearts thinking that you were afraid to come to us. Well, then I'm sorry that I broke your hearts in an entirely unforeseen way. <laughs> Could two straight guys run the ranch? I mean, why do you gotta be gay to run the ranch? <laughs> Owen, you're the best son a parent could ever have. Mm, thank you. Thanks for getting me. Mom, I love you. I love you, Mom. Oh, we, we love, love you, baby. baby. <laughs> oh, uh, Claude, you made this happen. I love you, too. No, no. All, all I did was build a simple bridge between the gay and the straight communities and <laughs> introduce them to a new and unique stuffing that they're not quite ready for, but <laughs> when you think about it, maybe everyone's hatred for my stuffing was the, the glue, if you will, that brought us all together. No, it was bad. <laughs> Can I just have the llama? <laughs> I don't care if he's stuck up. <laughs> New NYPD Blue is coming up next on ABC. Viewer discretion is advised.
Now, this is a traditional Casey dessert, also known as Jones pudding. <laughs> Don't worry, no fix. <laughs> Chamomile tea. Mm, I do. I'll put on a pot. 